Hello, I'm Archbishop Joseph Kurtz, and I'm coming to all of you who are members of the Salt and Light Society uh, for the Archdiocese of Louisville. And I'm coming to say thank you to you for your ongoing, generous, and faith-filled support of the ministries of the Archdiocese of Following Christ. I'm coming by way of Skype, and because I have so much to say and there's so many limits, I'm actually going to do it in three parts. So the first part is really to say thank you. You probably already know that the normal time this year when, when we gather for our uh, thank you banquet and our opportunity to see each other and to support one another is also a time for me to give you an update, especially as we are preparing for the Catholic Services Appeal and prayerfully making our own commitment. I've made mine, by the way, already. And uh, I hope uh, the Lord will be pleased with my own generosity. But you have been so generous. Uh, last year, I missed the gathering, too, because of the uh, difficulty I had with cancer. Well, the good news, as I thank you for your prayers for me, is that uh, I had surgery back in November. Uh, since that time, I've been taking immunotherapy as a precaution, and uh, each time I get a CT scan, I'm told there is no cancer. So um, thank you for your prayers, and please pray for my continued healing. I pray for each one of you. You know, uh, I really miss the opportunity to be with you all. Uh, we aren't going to have the gathering this year, but we are going to have a great spirit of generosity. Uh, please say thank you to God for the gifts he's given you as you allow me to say thank you for your being part of the Salt and Light Society. Remember, that a few years ago we began the society. There's now over 2,000 families who are part of, of the society, and you are a very important part of that group. Uh, uh, I want to thank you especially for supporting the Catholic Services Appeal. Uh, this year it's just as exciting as ever. The theme is We Are Called. It comes from uh, the prophet Micah, chapter 6, verse 8, he said, we are called to do three things, to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with the Lord. Uh, recently, I uh, had confirmation at uh, Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Campbellsville, and one of the students who received confirmation, his name was Matthew, his letter said that when he reads the gospel, and the call of Matthew, he almost feels like Jesus is speaking to him. Uh, that, that beautiful call that Jesus continues to give, that, that I felt as a high school student and quite frankly still feel today, I hope you experience that call of Jesus. Your support of the Catholic Services Appeal is so important for that. Ministries continued in the midst of COVID. Remember, the, the record continued to be published. Uh, our efforts with Catholic Charities continued. You know, someone from Catholic Charities called each one of our 110 parishes to see what can be done. And we're able to convey, I'm I think, a total of $350,000 that went through parishes to people in need. That kind of action is doing the work of justice. It's loving kindness and it's doing it humbly. Uh, our seminarians continue to be educated. Your future pastors, we uh, ordain two deacons uh, uh, for the uh, transitional deacon at, at uh, Thanksgiving time, and they will be ordained to the priesthood. Then in the spring, I just ordained 18 permanent deacons, and we have 18 seminarians. And so uh, thank God for your support that allows us to, to prepare now into the future. Remember that people who have no hope don't think about the future. They can't even get out of bed in the morning. But people who have hope plan for the future. That's what we're doing. All the ministries that you see in your parish, liturgical, catechetical, our Catholic schools, family life, I can go on and on. They're supported through your work with the Catholic Services Appeal. Uh, Thank you very much for that support. Thank you for reading the record and taking an interest in the work you're doing. Uh, uh, it's a, a desire on my part to let you know that I've made my gift for the Catholic Services Appeal. I hope the Lord will be pleased with my generosity. I know that if I can give generously and even sacrificially uh, to help others, the Lord will repay me 
by expanding my generous heart. I hope you feel the same way. This year, it's exciting as you consider your gift for Salt and Light, and I hope that you'll continue to be a member of Salt and Light. If you are able to consider increasing that gift, we actually have a matching gift so that um, if you're already giving $1,000 or $500 or $10,000, well, we have some very generous people, to the extent that you're able to increase that gift from last year, the increase will be matched. And the total amount that the person anonymously is giving is $50,000. So there's a lot of matching going on. Consider that, that if you're able to increase your gift, that increase will be doubled in service to others. I know that you've been generous and we never wanna take for granted your generosity to the work of the archdiocese, to the work of Christ and his church, any more than I know you don't ever wanna take for granted Christ's generosity to you. Uh, this time next year, I hope that COVID-19 will be a thing of the past. We'll have our gathering, we'll meet face to face. And one of the things I miss is going from table to table just to hear how all of each and every one of you is doing. Uh, please write to me or write to uh, our, our mission advancement office if you have any questions or any suggestions on what we can do. But please know that you continue to be held deeply in my prayers. Uh, we are called. We are called to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with the Lord. God love you.